In this video, we're going to learn about growth rates of different families of functions. We'll see how this applies to both L'Hopital's rule and also with sequences and series. The following are um, a list of families of functions, and they range from the fastest growing functions to the slowest. And when I say fastest and slowest, what I, what I mean is that all of these functions will eventually go to infinity, but they will get there at a faster rate than others. So for example, if I compare x squared and x cubed, clearly x cubed is going to get to infinity faster than x squared. And one way we can see this is by taking the limit as n, sorry, as, yeah, as x approaches infinity of x squared over x cubed. This simplifies to being 1 over x, and that will go to 0. So even though the top and the bottom both go to infinity, because the bottom gets there faster, our limit ends up being 0. So here are the fastest to slowest types of functions. The fastest type of function we'll look at is the factorial function. Then we have exponential functions, a to the n. Uh, and in this video, n and x are basically going to be our independent variables. Uh, so a to the n, where a is bigger than 1. We have algebraic functions, or polynomial functions, n to the p, where p is a power or an exponent that's bigger than 0. Sorry. Uh, and then the slowest growing function we'll look at is the natural log of n. Uh, and clearly here n has to be positive for the natural log to work out. But these are um, fastest to slowest growing functions, and knowing this order helps us in determining, um, it, it's a shortcut for us in determining certain limits or sequences and series. Let's take a look at some problems involving these. Let's take the limit as x approaches infinity of e to the x over x squared. Now, there's a couple of ways we could do this. The first way is to L'Hopital it. We could L'Hopital this uh, twice to get e to the x over 2x and then e to the x over 2, and then infinity over 2, which is infinity. Or, let's just use growth rates of functions. I have an exponential function, and I have a polynomial function, and if I take a look back over here, my exponential functions always grow faster than my polynomial functions. Therefore, the top grows faster to infinity. This will diverge to infinity. Uh, another problem, let's say we look at the limit as, uh, we'll say n in this case, n approaches infinity of 3 to the n over 4 to the n. Now, these are in the same family of function. These are both exponential functions. However, 3... How the bottom, 4 to the n, will grow to infinity faster than 3 to the n. Uh, and so this limit will be 0. Um, so within a family of functions, there are obviously relative growth rates. It's sort of like how x squared and x cubed come from the same family, but this gets to infinity faster than x squared. Let's look at another one. Let's say we have the limit as n approaches infinity of e to the n over n factorial. Uh, and now, going back to our growth rates, n factorial grows the fastest of all, and because it's on bottom, that will drag this to zero. Don't get caught up. A common um, one that shows up at times is with natural log. So let's say we take the limit as n approaches infinity of n over the natural log of n cubed. Now, you might be tempted to say, oh, the bottom's going to grow faster because I have n cubed versus n to the first. But be careful. Using properties of logs, we have to, or we can rewrite this as n over, here's our property of logs, we can bring this exponent down in front. And so we'll have 3 ln n. And now comparing n to the first and natural log of n, the algebraic one, the polynomial one, will grow faster than natural log. Therefore, this limit will go to infinity because the top grows faster than the bottom, ln n. Just to clarify, you can only use growth rates of functions when n is approaching infinity. So in all of these examples, n approached infinity. Hence, we can only use it when we're doing L'Hopital's rule as x or n approaches infinity or when we have sequences in series and we're doing, for example, the nth term test or something uh, of that nature where we're trying to compare things as n goes to infinity. 